As DUTs become more complex, automation is required to regress existing test cases, which can number over 100,000 tests. Traditional test tools fail the test engineer by only reproducing the configuration of the test and not actions over time or defining pass-fail criteria, which would form a full test case. The efficiency bottleneck presented by traditional test tools is that only a few engineers with the skills to automate through the CLI API would be able to build a majority of reproducible test cases. The effect of traditional test applications is that they inherently sandbox the expertise of your engineers. The organization gains no economies of scale, loses valuable time to market, and work with a system that does not promote reproducible testing. No-code automation opens up automation to all users by providing drag-and-drop automation environments. Easily capture the test engineer's expertise through visual conditionals, multi-stage pass-fail criteria forming full test cases, then leverage through your whole organization. Promote reproducible testing with over 250 commands. Fold in DUT control and internal DUT results, and finally export a full test case to a harness via Tickle or Ruby. In this demo, we will show drag and drop automation with control plane, commands, and visual pass and fail. Okay, so we're going to add uh, no code automation to our existing test case. So to get to the no code automation, we're going to hit the sequencer button to get to the command sequencer. This allows us to edit our sequence, and here you can see we have all of our conditional names. We have over 250 plus commands uh, broken down into basic conditional learning, routing, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to my routing, and here you can see I can bring up, bring down a protocol. And what I want to do is come down to specifically BGP, and I'm going to withdraw routes, and what I can do is drag and drop it over here to my withdraw routes, and if I click on the withdraw routes, you can see that I can withdraw uh, routes from a specific BGP peer, um, and I can also uh, uh, withdraw routes from specific categories, which you can also define, and what percentage of routes want to be defined. So you can see just the degree of flexibility that you have here without really any sort of coding. So we're, we're going to withdraw routes, and we're going to come down to our basic command, and we're going to add a wait. And our wait will do for 30 seconds. And we will go back to our re-advertise routes. And here, you, again, you can pick what BGP pairs you wish to uh, re-advertise to. And now I am going to come over here, and I'm going to insert a loop. I can rename this loop, and here you can see the advantage for the user uh, is that you can basically reproduce actions over and over again. And we want to, of course, loop this, let's say, five times. In addition to this, we also want to verify our link status before we even begin. So we'll drop that command in. And here you can see that I want to verify to make sure that my links are actually up and down. This is part of the pass-fail criteria, because then you can combine this with an if, and if you do if, then you can branch to a different section here. And you can see I can start and stop capture, I can start and stop high-resolution sampling, I can start and stop traffic, I can save results if I choose to. I can even run an internal process to go out and uh, pull internal variables from inside of my device under test. So if I do this, and I expand this out, now I can start my sequence. And here you can see visually, uh, where we'll show you exactly what's happening. This is an example of a pass-fail. And here you actually see uh, that the events actually occurred here. So now I'm starting to withdraw my routes. And here you can see my withdraw route on my graph. And that's starting to occur.
and at any time I can pause, I can step in, step out. So this is actually a full automation environment here. And I'm going to go through and re-advertise my routes and verify my links. So what I can do is I can build up on the, this test case. And again, the advantage to the user is um, that once I'm done, now I have a topology, which you can see over here in my devices. I have specific events uh, and that I'm tracking down here in the results. And I have actions over time with pass and fail criteria. You know, so now what I can do is I can take this test case and I can store it. And when I save this as a uh, TCC file, now anybody can launch this TCC file and basically for a short duration of the time, you know, can reproduce my expertise in this test case across all of the protocols. This is another advantage of having a single user interface too, because now whether you're doing functional system you know, or performance testing, you always have access to the command sequencer. So anybody that's doing any kind of testing can now leverage the command sequencer and leverage their expertise. This gives you an exponential increase in performance in your organizational efficiency because now you can multicast that expertise across your entire organization. And when I'm done and I'm happy with this test case, if I want to uh, support this uh, inside of my harness, what I can do is I can stop this now. And now I can come over here and say, save as script. And here I can save as Tickle or Ruby. And I can uh, give it some parameters. I can even create a base path map to be able to map it to my specific variables inside of my harness to be able to do things like pass back a global pass or a global fail. What's nice about the no-code automation scheme is one, it is universal across all forms of testing inside of Spiron Test Center. And then the other thing too is now I can rapidly build up regression test cases. So this means that your engineers are, can always work at the edge of your device, you know, at the features that are going to actually make your product sell and differentiate itself inside of the market. And the, the base um, feature sets can be pushed into a regression. So this expanding sphere of test cases means that you're going to maintain quality, um, but you're going to be able to actually um, test those features that make your, your dot and focus your engineers on those key differentiating points that make your product the best product on the market. So this is an example of no code automation using both control plane and data plane. Spiron Test Center is unique in that it rapidly builds full test cases, which empowers the user to build the test case once, leverage many times, and increase ROI, create truly reproducible test cases, share their expertise to the entire organization, and finally contribute to an expanding sphere of regression test cases. Spiron Test Center with no-code automation is the only tool that can exponentially increase quality of testing through automation through a single user interface.